Hey everybody, welcome back to Life Rocks, where we talk about living a life that really rocks. So this channel is all about raising awareness for Malde Debarkment Syndrome and encouraging other people living with chronic illness to get out there and live their life to the fullest. If you're familiar with my channel, you probably already know that I'm a big fan of the Google Home Hub. Well, just in time for Halloween, I have discovered some tricks and treats hidden in the Google system. If you've watched my MDDS awareness videos, you probably know that I've found the Google Home Hub to be very helpful when dealing with my Maldate Department Syndrome. Um, since I rely so heavily on my eyes and what I see around me, I really struggle to walk in the dark. I've actually taken multiple falls in the dark since I've had Malde Debarkment Syndrome and Google Home Hub has helped resolve that issue for me. Instead of having to stumble around and try to find my way to a light switch in the dark so that I can turn the light on, I can just simply ask Google to turn the light on for me. But Google is more than just helpful. Google has some little surprises hidden. And we've got some spooky Halloween surprises that we found this year. If you haven't already seen my Google Valentine special, be sure to check it out. I'm going to put that link right in the description below. If you find yourself enjoying this video at any time, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click that little subscribe button down below. Let's get on with the spooky stuff. Hey Google. What are you doing for Halloween? I like Halloween. It's the time of year things get real spooky. I celebrate by telling scary stories. Hey Google, do you believe in ghosts? I believe in Ghostbusters. They're who you're gonna call. Hey Google, do you believe in vampires? Immortality without garlic? No thanks. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what's the funniest thing Google has ever said to you. Hey Google, do you believe in witches? Some witches can be very respectable. Hey Google, what's your favorite Halloween candy? When it comes to candy, it's all good. Hey Google, do we have ghosts? Ghosts are just make-believe. I don't believe. Okay, I take that back. Hey Google, who are you gonna call? I usually call Bill Murray when I have ghost troubles. He never picks up. Hey Google, do we have a ghost? Some people do say my search skills are hauntingly good. Hey Google, have you ever been on a ghost hunt? Not that I know of, but maybe ghosts don't know when they're ghosts. Spooky. Spooky. Hey Google, wanna go to a Halloween party? All right, here's Halloween party. Halloween party as a brain teasing adventure game. I recommend that you have paper and a pen. Would you like to play this game? Yes. Someone seems to have just arrived. You open the door. Who is it? Uh, that? The bat is hovering with a letter in its mouth. Are you going to receive the letter from the bat? Yes. You received the letter from the bat. The letter has three sheets of paper. One is blue, another is yellow, and the third is red. Which color of paper would you like to read? Red. You read the red paper. The following sentences are written on the paper. Who am I? Spell my name. My nickname is Mr. Boo. M-R. B-O-O. You can spell my real name by arranging the characters of my nickname. Something more is written. Would you like to say the answer or read more? Read more. I don't know the answer yet. You read the red paper. The following is written on the paper. Who am I? Spell my name. My nickname is Mr. Boo. 
You can spell my real name by arranging the characters of my nickname. Below that, you find another sentence. My name has five letters. I can clean everybody's house. Something more is written. Would you like to say the answer or read more? The answer is broom. Please tell me the answer of the red paper. Broom. You chanted broom against the red paper. The red paper turned into a broom. Blue and yellow paper remains. Which do you read? Blue. You read the blue paper. The paper says, who am I? Spell my name. There are four foods drawn on the paper. A candy, an apple, a pumpkin, and an eggs. Something more is written. Would you like to say the answer or read more? Candy, apple, eggs, pumpkin. Candy, apple, pumpkin, eggs. You said candy, apple, eggs, pumpkin to the blue paper, but nothing happens. <laughs> Would you like to read the blue paper, read another paper, or think a while? Read the blue paper. Below the pictures, you see these sentences. My name has four letters, the first characters are important. I have no sleeves, I am a kind of cloak or coat. These are all you can find in the blue paper. Would you like to say the answer, or would you like to think a while? Say the answer. Please tell me the answer of the blue paper. Cape. You said cape to the blue paper. The blue paper turned into a black cape. Hey Google, do you believe in magic? It's more fun to believe. Hey Google, tell me something scary. Once upon a time, there was an assistant who was looking up some information, when suddenly, without notice, the internet went down. Hey Google, tell me a spooky story. Did you hear the urban legend about the water spiller of 96? So I have a friend who has this uncle that knows a guy that was there when this happened. Apparently, some maniac went rogue in a circuit city and started spilling water on all the electronics. It was a massacre. The scary part is, they're still out there. Hey Google, are you wearing a costume for Halloween? Maybe I'll be a ghostly assistant. Hey Google, let's go to a costume party. Great. I'll bring some games. If you go to any costume parties this Halloween, be sure to let me know what you dressed up as down in the comments below. There you have it. Not only is Google helpful, but she's also fun. She's always got a fun trick up her sleeve for every holiday. Hope everybody has a spectacularly spooky Halloween. Bye guys. See you next time on Life Rocks. The bat is hovering with a letter in its mouth. Are you going to receive the letter from the bat? If you suffer from a chronic illness, I highly recommend getting yourself a Google Hub and utilizing the Google Assistant or getting yourself a similar product. It can be so much more than a hands-free light switch. You can set timers to remind yourself to take your medicine. You can set it up to give you alerts and remind you about upcoming doctor's appointments and so much more. And as you saw, you can have a little bit of fun with it if you're stuck at home on a rough day.